Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Raul, aka Love Glam. And if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you dearly. So obviously, you're on this video in order to learn how to make your cheap foundation look expensive. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make this seven dollar foundation this is seven dollars canadian by the way so in usd it's definitely lesser than that how i make the seven dollar foundation look expensive and full coverage on my face when it comes to cheap foundations or rather let's call it drugstore foundations the problem is that because it's of a more diluted formula it's not full coverage it tends to leave your skin looking blotchy so a lot of the times people go for high-end foundation because obviously no one wants to um, spend hours on their makeup and then their makeup is moving or looking blotchy so today I'm going to show you guys how I make this look very well blended and set on my face without moving around or looking blotchy so let's get right into it first thing I like to do is prime my face so I'm using the Fenty Beauty primer mine is practically out and Sephora refuses to <laughs> deliver my package um, my package is taking so long it's almost a month and I still haven't gotten it yet I took a little that is left off of this and I'm gonna go ahead and prime my entire face and I'm focusing it on the t-zone And when it comes to um, foundation, I know people multi-prime, meaning that they use different primers for different parts of their face. For a cheap um, foundation, I recommend using one primer. So don't multi-prime. Instead, you can go ahead and double set um, certain places that you get oily. And then also, don't use a primer that is extremely drying. So like a Becca mattifying Primer, I would not recommend that for a drugstore or a cheap foundation just because the foundation needs a smooth surface to glide on and blend out so if you use an extremely matte primer then the foundation already does not have that much of a coverage so you end up having foundation that rolls so you don't want that so I usually just use the um, Fenty primer and this one is the instant retouch primer pro filter so it's not a mattifying it has a little bit of dewiness to it as well the next step that I'm going to do is apply an illuminator to certain parts of my face basically the high points of my face where the light hits so I'm using the NYX away we glow I haven't used this in a long time but I find that it definitely helps when it comes to um, drugstore foundation it helps it pop so I'm gonna put it on the high points of my cheekbone we're gonna blend that out in a bit my chin keep its bow a little on the center of the nose and then I'm gonna put it right on the edge of my forehead basically where the light hits then we're gonna go ahead and blend that out so when you're blending it you don't want to move it too too much so I'm just leaving it in that area and buffering it down and then the forehead so you want to use a flat blending brush a flat face blending brush just to buffer that out and if you feel like it's not buffering you can also use your fingers just to blend that in some more so we've blended that in and you can see we have some sort of glow going on on our face so when we put on the foundation the glow is going to peek through and make it look even more expensive I'm going to go in with my color corrected this is a LA girl color corrected it's like two dollars pretty cheap so I'm gonna go ahead and color correct anywhere that I have dark hyperpigmentations on my face because the last thing you want is to do all of this prep and then have that blotchiness in the areas that you are a little darker. The areas that we as women of color have hyperpigmentation, um, the foundation tends to not cover there properly. So you want to properly prep those areas so when you actually put the foundation, you don't see your skin still peeking through um, in those areas if your skin is peeking through in the areas that have hyperpigmentation the those areas end up looking grayish and blotchy when you put your foundation on 
I'll correct my under eye as well. As you can see, see the under eye compared to this under eye. So when we place foundation on here, it's going to cover much better compared to this. My entire face is color corrected in the areas that I want to color correct. So now we're going to go in with the star of the show, which is the Ordinary Foundation. And my shade in this is 3.2R. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. I'm going to start right in the center of my face and then I'm going to blend it outwards. And for this, sometimes I use brush, sometimes I use a beauty blender. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using a beauty blender because I'm going to build this product in order to achieve that coverage that we want. And the reason why you want to start in the middle of your face when you're putting on foundation is because generally those are the areas that need the most um, coverage. So you want to focus your heaviest hand over there and then you buffer whatever else that is left on your blender um, on the outskirts of your face because generally those areas don't need as much coverage. And this is just one layer of the foundation. So we're going to go ahead and do this side. As you can see, this is the side. And this is this, you know, it's looking pretty good. I also put some foundation on my neck just because, as you guys know, my neck is darker than my face. So I need to blend that out a little bit at least. We're going to go in now with the second layer. We still have a little bit of foundation in the back of our hands. And then we're just going to repeat. And sometimes um, people tend to put um, a layer of translucent powder before they repeat. I generally don't do that um, sometimes I do but for this I usually don't just because I still want to retain that dewiness and I feel like once we put that setting powder translucent setting powder over it we're going to end up losing that um, dewiness that we actually worked hard to achieve because a lot of um, high-end foundations have that dewy finish to it I'm going to pick more products and wherever you have hyperpigmentation you're going to focus there so you can give it more coverage because like I said those are the places that give away that you're wearing a cheap foundation because it tends not to uh, grab onto foundation as much so you want to make sure that it's covered just like any paint job like foundation makeup is actually technically painting um, you just want to go like take a look at it like actually look in the mirror if there's any other area that needs additional cover-up you're just going to go lightly over it with a little bit of foundation just to blend out everything I'm taking my LA girl concealer and we're going to highlight for this I'm not going to overdo it just because we still want to retain that foundation look we don't want to cover up everything with um, highlighter and then you know we have to restore it with contour so for this part of the face you can go ahead with a brush and blend out your highlight or you can go back with your beauty blender I like to go back with the same beauty blender and this still has the foundation color so what it's gonna do is it's gonna highlight those areas like blend out the highlight but also it's going to tone it down a little bit um, again this is preference like sometimes I want to go for that bright highlight and sometimes I just want something more on the natural side and today we're going more on the natural side we're gonna go ahead and blend out the highlight I'm gonna go ahead and set my highlight and I'm using the banana powder by Morphe and for this we're not going to bake we're just simply going to pick up the powder and push it into our highlighted areas so gonna press And when you're pushing it, you're, it's almost like you're pressing and rolling. That way you're not moving around the foundation. You're actually setting the product in place. Okay. And remember the corners of the mouth for me usually does not catch a uh, foundation for a lot of women of color actually. So make sure you take your powder. Okay. And Take your tongue and push it out. So whatever lines that are in there, you're filling it out. So you're gonna do that and then you're gonna go ahead and set. So we're gonna do this. So that way we're literally locking in that foundation there. And 
right now we look crazy but that's okay <laughs> you guys should look crazy but that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and contour so you guys already know the basis of contouring so i'm gonna go ahead and blend that out and of course blend out your forehead and then whatever that is left on my brush i like to just brush it over on the actual forehead here just bring it down a little bit I'm gonna go in with my morphe bronzer. it's like a bronzer and a contour powder in one and I'm gonna take that to set my contoured areas you want to lightly set whatever that you're setting on your face but then also not move around the products. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, pick up the bronzer powder lightly, and then I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. First, I place the products before I go ahead and blend it. And, and I like to bring my contour up to my brow area, just because it gives it that very well connected look. And it's not like your contour starts weirdly I'm gonna take my hands or my fingers and just blend out that line so it's not harsh to dust off this lower part I'm gonna use um, a mineralized setting powder it's kind of like a Mac MSF similar but this is Ruby Kisses and this is my skin tone color and then I'm gonna push that into these areas and I'm not using this color for my under eye because I want my under eye to remain brighter because if I use this, then it becomes the color of my skin and I don't want that. So we're gonna use another color for the under eye. And I need to wax my upper lip, as you can see. <laughs> anyway. Okay. As you can see, we're not looking as weird the lower part of her lips anymore and then for my under eye I'm using the shade this is sand and it's the NYX um, finishing powder and this is lighter so it's gonna help retain that under eye highlight so I'm just gonna push it in because it is a drugstore um, foundation you want to be light on your push so basically you're pushing and you're rolling out eyes are still bare I'm gonna do a quick eye after this but we're looking good skin is looking good skin is looking expansive you know full coverage and everything and I'm just gonna put some blush but a nice fluffy blush brush just dust that off on your cheekbone I like to bring it up to my temples as well and then same to this side as well bring it up and I just use whatever that is left on my brush just to blend out the forehead it adds color to your forehead so before we go in with the highlighter we're gonna go ahead and spray some set and spray and I'm using the urban decay all-nighter spray You don't need to over drench your face but you do need enough spray to make sure that all the powders melt into your skin because what gives away that cheap look is if your entire face looks very powdery and we don't want that we want everything to sit and melt into your skin I'm gonna go ahead and put some highlighter and I'm using the master chrome Maybelline highlighter Like to bring it right here so basically where the light hits and just blend that out go over it with the blush brush just to make sure everything blends out nicely like I said I want it to be subtle and melted into my skin rather than just sit it on top of my skin the center the bridge of your nose so Definitely not too much. All right, 
everything is looking good now we're just gonna do a quick eye so we're gonna add a little bit of color on the eyes and I'm using the Jackie Aina palette and I'm going to go in with ginger right here just place it right there we're not doing anything too much on the eye just literally a very simple eye I'm gonna go in with edges it's just a darker version of the transition color and we're just going to place that right underneath the transition color and just blend that into the transition color so I'm going in with this violet vase palette and I'm going in with the shade Royale Royale Royal Royal you don't want to pick up too much products because for starters we don't want fallouts because we already did our face so you just want to make sure you pick it up with a shader brush so that it blends in beautifully so we're gonna go back into the Jackie palette we're gonna go back with the edges the color edges and then we're gonna blend out this color where the edges meet literally <laughs> we're going to blend out the edges using the color edges where the edges meet that's something. So Lil, so Lil means sun. Same Jackie palette. And then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone. Gel liner and a flat brush. And I'm just lining my water. It's not really called waterline. I'm lining my lash line. Gonna wanna line your waterline as well. And I'm going back with the Violet Vaz palette and I'm using the Inspo, which is the black shade in there. I'm just going to use that to smoke out the liner just a little. Nothing too fancy. Just don't want it to look like we are wearing liner, you know? And then some mascara, of course. Pop in our lashes. just going back with the black shade the inspo I'm gonna smoke out our bottom and again you want to be careful so you don't have fallouts okay and then we're gonna go back in with edges just smoke the bottom part out some more so careful of course my finished look this is the skin skin looks great So don't fret, don't feel like because you don't have a $60 foundation that you cannot achieve a flawless foundation look. You got this, you can achieve it, I'm telling you firsthand, clearly. I really like how everything turned out. Comment below, let me know if you guys are more of a drugstore foundation type of person or if you are a high-end foundation type of person. Um, I want to know. I'm both. Like, I have high-end foundations. I also have $7 foundations. Um, so, yeah. You can achieve a look with a drugstore cheap foundation. It's just all about technique and patience. And I hope you guys were able to pick up some techniques in this video um, in order to help you guys achieve it. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and um, like the video and share it with your friends and everybody. And I hope you guys enjoy the eye look as well. I enjoyed making this video for you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next video.